everyone, my name is Miss Ariel. Hi everyone, I'm Colleen. So today we're going to be talking about celebrating some Hispanic American voices in books written by Hispanic American authors to celebrate Hispanic American Heritage Month, which is September 15th to October 15th. So we're going to be having a little discussion about some of our favorite reads written by Hispanic American authors um, about Latin American countries. So these are some of our favorite reads. So thanks again for joining us. All right, so the first book we're going to be talking about is going to focus on family. And so they call me Garo, which Garo is a name used for Mexican American kids for light or pale skin. And this book is a Border Kids Poems by David Bowles. And so not only is this a book written about Mexican Americans, but it's also one of our Blue Bonnet 2021 reads. And so this book focuses on our main character who goes by Garo. Garo has a group of friends who they call Los Bobbies or Los Dirts. And so he's got some friends that all have the same name and they are all interested in the same thing. They love reading. Um, he's an avid reader and he started reading at a young age. And so every weekend he crosses the border with his dad and he's able to experience the culture um, and he's able to go to shops. Um, the author does touch a little bit on immigration and segregation and prejudice that do exist. And during, during Guillermo's school years, because he's getting ready to enter in seventh grade, and his seventh grade English teacher gives him a love for poetry. Guillermo gets a lot of slack from his kids in school because of his pale skin. And when he goes home and tells his father, his father tells him, Mijo, pale skin kids catch a lot of breaks here in Mexico. It's not your fault. It's not fair. It's just the way it's been for years. So what a powerful, compelling read. And this one's written by David Balls. Wow. That kind of reminds me of this easy picture book, something I read this month that I loved. And this is called Where Are You From? by Yamisha Sand Mendez. I probably messed that name up. But this is a beautiful story about a girl who constantly gets asked, where are you from? Everyone wants to know, where are you from? And they're never satisfied with the answer. And so she goes to her beloved abuela and says, how do I answer this? And so this is a beautiful story about how one girl kind of gets an unexpected answer to her question, but it's really a story about belonging and celebrating our differences. Check it out. Our next book that we're going to talk about focuses on differences. So this book, Marcus Vega Does Not Speak Spanish, written by Pablo Cartaya. Um, so this book focuses on Marcus, who's the main character. And so Marcus is a, a kid who's from Puerto Rico, but has never been there. He's always lived in the United States. And he lives in a house in, in Springfield, Pennsylvania, with his mom and his younger brother, who's on the autism spectrum. And so this book focuses on Marcus as he navigates his school life along with his brother and his mom. So he comes home, he takes care of his brother, he takes care of his mom, um, and his mom's been working long shifts, you know, trying to get her degree, and Marcus has been able to step up. Well, Marcus gets into some trouble when someone calls his brother a really bad name. And so his mom decides that it's time to take them on a trip to reveal their heritage in Puerto Rico. And on this journey, Marcus really hopes to find more information about his father and look at his father and ask him questions as to why he left. But during his time in Puerto Rico, he is able to learn and experience the culture, visit different markets, and also get answers to some of his questions about where his father went. This compelling read is both fast and engaging. And I recommend this for anyone who's interested in, a, in, a, in a, an amazing family story. Wow, and that reminds me of this easy picture book, Just Ask, by Sonia Sotomayor. She is the first Latina uh, judge on the Supreme Court, and she wrote this beautiful book, Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You. And this is about celebrating our differences. When she was young, she found out she was diabetic, and she had to take care of it every day. And this was something that was different for her versus everyone else. This made her feel completely different. And and kind of abnormal. And she writes this book celebrating all these children's differences. They come together to plant a garden, and on every page it talks about a child who maybe feels different, and people have to ask, well, just ask, what's wrong? What's going on? And it celebrates not only our differences, but that when we don't understand what the difference is, what's going on with you? We can just ask. 
check it out. So the next book we're going to talk about is Manana Land. So this focuses on dreams and fantasies. And so this book focuses on a young boy who loves and enjoys playing football in the summer in a small village in Santa Maria. And he normally works the summers with his dad. He loves adventure, but his mom left at a young age and he's always been curious about where his mom went. So I'll constantly ask his dad and his abuelo where his mom went, but they're unable to, to answer the questions right there. But the more that you journey through the story, the more that you realize that the stories he was told, the folk stories that he was told by, by his abuelo when he was young, were actually had some truth in it. So he journeys through this fantasy land, um, to this mythical manana land, understanding that it's not a physical place, but it's something that you feel. And in the end, he gets some answers to where his mother went, and understanding that she left to protect him. So this fantasy read is both enticing, it's quick, and it's also filled with so much mystery, love, and family relationships. So I definitely recommend checking this one out. Wow, and yet again, your book reminds me of Carmela, Full of Wishes, by the award-winning author Matt De La Pena and illustrator Christian Robinson. This is a beautiful story about Carmela who wakes up and it's her birthday. And kind of her wish has already come true because she's now old enough to travel with her brother into the neighborhood and do family errands. And they travel together and it has beautiful illustrations of who they meet along the way and she finds a dandelion. And before she can blow the white little springs away, her brother says, wait, you have to make a wish. But then she thinks, oh man, I have to make just the right wish. And so she thinks and she makes a wish. And basically what happens is a beautiful story about the rest of the day and kind of your dreams and how uh, a, it, your dreams can transport you from one neighborhood that you grew up in to somewhere else. It's just a beautiful story about being young and being a dreamer. Check it out. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us for our book talk today where we dive into some amazing books written by Mexican-American authors about Mexican-American leads. And so we want to encourage you to not only browse our catalog, but to do some research and really look up more information about different authors who maybe come from a different ethnic background than you, and then celebrate Mexican-American Heritage Month with us from September 15th to October 15th. And look for some more interesting and enticing posts on our Facebook. And don't forget to go to our library's website and check out the awesome, amazing virtual programs that we have to offer for you. Thank you and happy reading.